welcome back to my channel. We are gonna do a little mini vlog today. It is actually 3.46. We just got home no, from not. picking. It is on my watch. It's 3.46. Well, um, the clock time over there is 3.45. Okay, 3.45. And we just got home from doing school pickup. Usually I start vlogs after we drop her off. But we're gonna do kind of a little afternoon and evening video. I actually recorded a Walmart haul earlier today. And it's been kind of a crazy day. But we are going to, we're actually making this for a little after school snack. It's the Jello Play Dirt Dessert. Dirt dessert kit that's really hard to say i picked it up at walmart today the kids have been talking about like dirt and worms <laughs> snacks that they've maybe had at school and i saw this and thought that they would enjoy making it for like an after school kind of treat today because it is icky outside so we won't be playing outside are you doing some gymnastics maybe <laughs> always always doing gymnastics so we are making this and then I thought we would do a little bit of work in the bathroom before we need to start dinner. We're gonna let it sit just another minute, I think. But this is the kit. It looks so cute. It came with the little gummies. And it came with the little crumb. So I like that it's kind of already, it's just all put together in a little kit and it just makes it so easy. So yeah. We got some plastic cups out and we're gonna eat some worms and some dirt. Uh, yep, just do a little in each cup to make Ma, sure. I eat. You're gonna stir? No. We don't need to stir. Say, that one's mine. Ooh, be careful, make sure you have enough. <laughs> Which one's yours, the one with the most? Yeah. Does it taste like dirt? <laughs> it does? Ew. You better not eat it then. Nope, Gotta maybe mix it a little bit. <laughs> mix it up. There you go. Okay, now, now it's. Mm. Is it good? Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Times thumbs up. Good job. Yum. Is it good? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, good. The story of my life, right there. Every single day, I swear. I am, I spill every day. Yesterday, remember what spilled on my shirt? What? It was like mustard and ketchup. Today, dirt and worms. Yeah. <laughs> you are funny. We need to get you washcloth, don't we? Look at that face. Let me see again. Oh my gosh, did you have pudding? Little mini bathroom update. So I got the window all painted today. It's just kind of finishing drying. I think my husband will actually hang the blinds later after dinner tonight. I did pick those up today, so that's good. And then all of the floor, like the baseboards have been painted. And I think I talked about this, but I'm kind of being sloppy down here just because we're going to be changing out the floors. So it looks a little messy, but it won't in the end. And then the walls will be painted as well. So there's probably some blemishes on the walls as well, but those will get painted tomorrow. And I also stopped by Sherwin-Williams today and picked up the Repost Gray paint color. And I just wanted to try it because I was just so excited. Couldn't contain myself. It's a very light gray, which is perfect. So I think it's going to work out well. So I was just kind of testing little swatches over here. And then I did one over here too, just to kind of see how it would look. And I think it's going to look good. It's definitely going to brighten it up in here. It's a lot of brown going on right now. So got that on the wall. And then I was also playing around with painting the vanity, which color I wanted to do. I had the white. This is what I did our kitchen cabinets with. Obviously it's, I mean, just one little quick coat with my foam brush to see. And then I did, this is the country gray chalk paint. And that's what I was leaning towards, but I wanted to try the white just to make sure. I was originally thinking white and we ran into the same problem downstairs in that bathroom, but the counters, they're not white. Like they're more ivory and I don't think it'll look right to have a white cabinet and an ivory counter. And I think we're gonna just try to use these counters for now and see how it all comes together. So I'm leaning towards doing this color for the cabinets or the whole vanity. And then we'll do like bronze hardware. I think that'll make a world of a difference to have hardware on it and then this. So I was trying to just make sure it wasn't big enough contrast there. I didn't want it to be like 
too similar, but I think that's going to work. So I definitely made some progress today. I'm just also waiting for that door to dry and then we'll hang like all of the hardware. And once you add the hardware, it seriously like changes everything. It just looks so much better. But yeah, we're moving along. So tomorrow we'll be painting in here the walls. I just have to wait for all of the trim to dry so I can tape all of that off and we'll just kind of prep and get ready tomorrow and hopefully paint or start painting. But yeah, it's, I always second guess myself when I start these projects. It's like, did I make the right choice? Did I, should I have done that and this? But so far, I think we're doing um, a pretty good job. I'm just gonna take it day by day, I think, with this one. So I went to Menards, I kind of browsed like counters and vanities. I'm like, this, it's gonna get way too expensive if we start changing all of that stuff out. So I picked up new faucets, blinds, and paint today and I think hardware for that. And we're just going to do that for now. And then the floors, I have some exciting things coming as far as the floors go. Doing an inexpensive, I think, big upgrade. So that should be fun. But I think I'm gonna wait to show that until I do like my whole big reveal video. But I think we're gonna work on the floors this weekend. So I'm kind of on a time crunch to get everything painted and done by, I'd say, be nice to have the painting all done by Saturday. So that gives me two days to do painting. It is time to make dinner. My husband brought the kiddos downstairs. Corn chicken. Nacho chicken flatbread. Let's do that one. Today's video is sponsored by Home Chef. I actually received my delivery yesterday and just wanted to show you what it looked like when you open the box. Everything is packed so nicely, which I appreciate, and everything is in its individual bag, so it makes it so much easier when it's time to cook dinner because as we all know, dinner time gets a little stressful, at least for me it does, with all of the kids running around crazy. So anyways, everything's packaged really nice. All of like the veggies and ingredients are packaged in these bags, and then the meat is actually packed separately in the bottom with lots of ice packs. I share a lot about Home Chef on my YouTube channel, mainly because I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I am the worst at coming up with what to make for dinner. I get into meal ruts. Every single week I'm cooking the same thing. So I can go on and select what meals sound great and then they just deliver it right to my door. So they're telling me what to cook. They send me all of the ingredients in the correct portion sizes, which is also great. So you aren't wasting food. When you order Home Chef, you can basically choose what's best for your family. I choose two servings typically on a Wednesday delivery. I like that middle of the week slump, just getting some new food in the house with some meals. So I do two servings, but you can also choose four if you wanna order more for your family. Two is more than enough for my husband and I, and then my kids, I can order them a meal if it's something they will like. But I really do like that you can pick and choose what you want to order. Tonight for dinner, I'm making the nacho chicken flatbread. And let me tell you, this meal did not disappoint. This was probably our favorite out of the four that we got for the week. It was just really, really good. You cannot go wrong with a good flatbread. But right now I'm just slicing and dicing all of the green onions, tomato, jalapeno, and I also needed to have the lime. And that was probably the hardest part, just slicing all your vegetables, which is kind of fun sometimes to do. The chicken was already sliced up into the little pieces that you needed for this recipe, which I can really appreciate. I do not like to handle raw chicken. It just kind of grosses me out a little bit, honestly. So I really did like that. So while this chicken cooks on the stove top, I also decided to do a little bit of cleaning up in the kitchen, getting the dishwasher loaded with all of the dirty dishes, trying to multitask.
I added some seasoning into the chicken to finish that part up and then the flatbreads go in the oven so they get all nice and warm for the meal. And lastly, the fun part is the yummy cheese sauce. I'm using some heavy whipping cream as well as some shredded cheese in it to finish it off. Now I do have a coupon code that I share in the description box of all of my videos, but it is an amazing deal that Home Chef is offering right now. You get $20 off your first four boxes for a total discount of $80. So definitely use my code CrystalTara80. This is the highest discount I have ever seen on Home Chef. So definitely make sure you check it out if you are wanting to give it a try. The carrots. <laughs> oh, mm. good. Those are healthy. I'd be lying if I didn't say tonight. God, it's challenging. The kids have been um, challenging. That's a nice word. It's been a challenge tonight, but dinner was good, and we have to go start baths very soon. Always wears his badge with pride. Yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> How you doing? Buzz. You have buzz? Buzz. 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 <laughs> Who do you have? Who's this guy? <laughs> Say Woody. <laughs> That's close. Close enough. Good job. I got booted out of the chair. I can play a game of don't pop, Mason. Do I come back and put one in? I'm giving the boys a bath right now, and then it will be Macy's turn. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What did he eat for dinner? He's got a lot of energy. Vlogging? Yeah? Yeah, you did it! Good! Don't want to sleep tonight at all Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay I am all settled in my spot on the couch for the night. The kids were absolutely crazy tonight. I don't know what it was, but after dinner, like it was like, it was almost too much. They were wild, not getting along. It was pretty crazy. So you probably didn't see much of it because it would have just been screaming, but it was pretty wild. So the peace and quiet right now with them in bed is amazing. Sometimes I just will sit here for a minute just like enjoy the silence, but it just feels great to be done. This is like one of my favorite parts of the day is when everyone is in bed and it is just quiet and I can just sit and relax and enjoy it. But my husband just left for praise team practice. He plays in our praise team at church every other Sunday typically. And so he plays this weekend, so they practice. And so he just left for that. It's about 8.15 at night. I'm going to watch some Blue Bloods on TV. I am obsessed with this show. I'm on season three right now. I think there's nine seasons, but it's just a really good show. I really enjoy crime shows. Like, I don't know what it was. I loved Law and & Order, and then I just, I was looking for a new show. What other one was I watching? I watched SEAL Team, Hawaii Five-0, SWAT, all of those I love. And then I needed another one, so I found Blue Bloods, and I've been hooked. So I have a lot of seasons to go yet till I'm like caught up, but I just really like it. It's it's just a great show. There's like a new story every episode. 
but also kind of their family is just they're just a good family so if you're looking for a new show to binge watch and you like crime type of things check out blue bloods you will not be sorry but i'm gonna watch probably two episodes maybe three if i could stay awake i wish i could stay up late but typically i will fall asleep on the couch at like 9 30. <laughs> I'm so sad and I'm just exhausted. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have all of the Home Chef information below in the description box if you are interested in signing up. It's just a, it's a lifesaver for sure. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's where we go. I grow wings and tell